What's going on YouTube? KOD Foot here bringing you another episode of KOD Foot Talks. Before we get started into it though, I got another big announcement. Uh, I said it on Tuesday that we were going to cut the requirement for the Scuff360 giveaway from 250 subscribers down to 200. And we've hit that goal. And I'm really happy that we've hit that goal because no longer will you have to hear me say, you know, look in the description. There's a link to the video. I don't have to plug it no more. I don't have to talk about it no more. We're going to break. Go ahead, give the damn thing away. So there will be a video posted on Sunday. Me and Faz are going to sit down, do a vlog, and get all the names together, go through the comments, make sure that everybody met the requirements that, you know, we asked for that they commented on the video and that they are currently subscribed to us. And we're going to go through all the names, put them into, I think it's what, like random.org or something like that. Some random name generator thing. I, I don't know. I don't know what it's called, but I know what it does. And we're, <laughs> we're going to sit down and we're going to get everybody in there and we're going to randomly select a winner. And that winner will be announced on Sunday. So make sure you check out that video. I'm fucking excited to do it. It's been too goddamn long coming. I didn't ever think that it would be this hard to give away a free controller. But, you know, it is what it is. I'm happy with the way the channel's going. I'm happy with the way the channel's growing. You know, yeah, we only hit 200 subs instead of 250. But, whatever. We'll hit 250 eventually. And then maybe 300, maybe 500, maybe 1,000. We'll see how it goes. I'm setting my goal high, and I'm setting my standards low, and or my expectations, not my standards. Set my goal high, my expectations low, and hopefully we can meet somewhere happy in the middle. But we'll also be doing a Q&A video, so watch for that. Make sure you follow us on Twitter, at Kings of D, because we're going to post it, and we're going to ask for questions, and we want to hear from all our fans, different questions that you want to hear us answer. So make sure that you follow us so we can have your question featured in the Q&A video. The last one was a lot of fun. I had a whole lot of fun doing it. And uh, I think this one's going to be good too. So let's go ahead and get started into today's video. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about DLC and more so on micro DLC than just standard DLC. But my, I have an issue with it. So let's go ahead and get started. With Call of Duty, you know, you you get your map packs, you get your DLC or your season pass if you want to buy it early and save some money. And you know, that's cool. That's it, it brings a little life back to the game. You're not playing the same maps over and over and over again. So you spice it up a little bit, you buy the DLC, you get four new maps or five new maps depending on what game it is. I think there was one that did five or I don't know, probably wrong. I don't know. I haven't bought DLC in a while. I didn't. I bought the first map pack for Ghost, and I didn't buy anything else. I don't know. The, the maps that they were coming out with just didn't look appealing to me. And you know, you you've had that back since what? Black Ops One, I think it was map packs with that. Maybe, MW Two maybe had map packs. I don't really remember, honestly. I know I've been buying them for a while, and I, I did that, and that, that was cool, you know. Yeah, they charge a little bit of money for them, but you're also getting four or five new maps, so that's fine. But then they started with this habit of micro-DLC, and it's not just Call of Duty that does it. it. It's a lot of different games, and it's like, come on, that's just bullshit. You, you pay $2 to get new skins for your gun. Make that fucking an unlockable in the game. Make that an achievement. Make that something that you unlock in the game. You're you're making a multi-million dollar game that millions of people are buying. It's sixty dollars a pop. Plus, they're all, then shelling out their money for the season pass, and that doesn't include if they bought the hardened edition of the game, or you know the prestige master edition, or whatever special edition that it is that they came out with that year. So people are spending already, say they buy the season pass in the game, the standard game, they're already dropping $100 on a game. You've got a million fucking people doing that. You just made a billion dollars. Then you're going to charge me $2 to get fucking skins for my guns? Or you're going to charge me, um, what, $20 now? I think this is where the topic popped into my head. 
is because of these new advanced supply drops that they've got out now. You're paying $20 to get 10 fucking supply drops that you have no idea what's in them. That's fucking bullshit. Faz did a... He bought it. You know, he he's down for shit like that. He's down to support it like that. I'm not. I'm not going to throw my money at a game. I, I will throw my money into the game when I'm enjoying it or when it seems worth it. When the maps seem good, yeah, I'll buy that map pack. When the guns seem good, if you can buy a gun, I'll buy that gun. Unless it's an OP gun, like the Ohm apparently is fucking super OP... Which is basically paying to win. If you pay for that gun, you get the most powerful gun in the game. And it's kind of fucked up too. But at the same time, you paid a little bit of money. You deserve to have something worth the money. But then they got these fucking advanced supply drops out now. He opened up 13 of them. Because they gave him three bonus ones or some shit like that. He opened up 13 of them and got garbage. Every single one of them was just garbage. They took him for his 20 bucks. How many other people are they doing that to? You know, now if they made it so the advanced supply drops came with a guaranteed elite weapon in it, then it might be worth it. You know, and even still, it's not really, I don't think it'd be worth 20 fucking dollars. I could see making, if, if you were going to do it, make the advanced supply drops 10 cents a piece. Two hundred or two dollars for two hundred of them. That would make sense. No, that that math's not right. That math's not right. It'd be ten of them for a dollar, so twenty of them for two dollars. There you go. Better math. Come on, Rick. You can do this shit. But anyway, you get two dollars for twenty of them. That would make sense. But twenty dollars for ten of them? Thirteen because you got the bonus ones because you got it within the first week or whatever. That's bullshit, and, and Activision knows this, and Sledgehammer knows this, but people are still buying it, so that's why they'll continue to do it. Call of Duty is a fucking cash cow, and they are going to milk that motherfucker for every last dime that they can, and they've shown that. They Activision doesn't respect the community that supports them, and that's fucked up. You know, there's a lot of people, myself included, that love playing Call of Duty. It's my go-to game. I play it more than anything else. But then you're going to tell me that if I want to purchase advanced supply drops to get a chance at earning elite weapons, that there's no other way to earn them in the game except for random supply drops through the game that don't really give them to you anyway. You know, I want the ASM-1 speakeasy. I want that gun, even though it's been nerfed and you know, the other guns have been buffed and it's not the best gun in the game anymore. I still want it. I think it looks really cool with the drum mag on it and everything, and I would love to have it. But am I going to pay 20 bucks to fucking get it? Possibly? No, I'm not. And you shouldn't either. Have some respect in yourself, and as a community, we need to stand up to this bullshit and let them know that we're not about it. Every time somebody purchases a micro DLC, whether it be a camo skin or a um, uh, fucking exosuit skin or whatever, you're buying shit that they're making for nothing. You know, they're, they're not paying these graphic designers anything to make these things because they can pump them out quicker than shit. And they don't even, some of them don't even look good. Like some of them do. But some of them don't even fucking look good. And you're telling me that I gotta pay for that shit? What happened to the old school games back when everything came on the disc? Or everything came on the cartridge? Take it back to cartridge games. There was no DLC for cartridge games. But they had some of the best replay value out of everything. You didn't need to buy expansions to make the game better and have it have better replay value. They put out a solid fucking game from the beginning. If it was a good game, it was a good game, and you were going to play it regardless, and you were going to put hours and hours and hours into it. But now, they're putting out subpar quality games and having to f just support themselves off of micro DLC because they know the kids are going to start bugging their parents. I want the new skin for my gun. Please buy it. Please give me your credit card number. And it's like, you know, that's 
fucking stupid, man. I hate that shit so much. But, anyway, this video is getting ready to wrap up. I hope you enjoyed me ranting for a couple minutes about Micro DLC. It pisses me off. I don't like it. I don't support it. You will never see me buy a fucking skin for a gun because it's garbage. I don't care if I only have $2 on my account that's linked to Xbox Live. I'm not spending it on fucking Micro DLC, that's for sure. Leave a comment below. Let me know how you feel about DLC, Micro DLC, all that shit. Um, make sure you leave a like if you support what we're doing and want to see me continue putting out videos. Until next time, Coyote Foot. Later.